Welcome. We're going to learn about straight line depreciation. So depreciation is the concept that uh, objects, um, especially assets, lose value over time. For example, if you buy a car at 50,000 Rand, you are not going to sell that car, even if you sell it the next day, you're probably not going to get 50,000 Rand for it the next day. Objects lose value over time for various reasons. For example, for cars, it's wear and tear. It gets older. It's not as valuable as it is when it is new. Okay, the same goes for other equipment like computers and things like that. But most of all, we use um, it for, uh, for vehicles or even some companies uh, that use like printers, large printers, or expensive equipment that they can resell but definitely at a lower price because it was used. Now we get two types of depreciation. We're going to first look at straight line depreciation. And straight line depreciation simply means we're losing, we're losing the same value each year. Losing the same value each year. In other words, it sounds very much the same as um, simple interest. And in simple interest, we were gaining the same amount each year. My investment grew with the same size every year. This time, I lose the same value every year. And therefore, this formula makes quite a lot of sense. It's exactly the same as uh, the simple interest formula. Instead, it just has a negative 1 minus, if I multiply it out, you'll see why. We've got, uh, if we we'll multiply in the P, we've got P minus I times P. So what is I? I is now going to be your depreciation rate. Like you're going to lose a percentage every year. And that is going to be multiplied by the number of years you're going to lose it for. So in this case, N would represent years. And this is our formula. Now I just want to show you in this formula that we have here a very important um, element of this for formula. This is a constant. P is a constant. Let's call it C minus. Let's call this I times P. Let's call it M times N. So I've got A is equal to an if you look at that formula, I, I wonder if you can see y is equal to negative nx plus c. That is the formula for a straight line. And this one, I just need to, to move it around a little bit. Negative n, n plus c. <coughs> In other words, it's a straight line. It's negative m, so in other words, it's got a negative slope, which means it looks like that. And that is why it's called straight line depreciation. Because over time, the value of my car falls in a straight line as the years pass on. Not just that, I see my original value. That's the, the, the y-intercept, c, is the value p. And at some point, my asset or whatever object's losing value actually has a value of zero. Now, this is what makes straight line depreciation somewhat um, unpopular. Because, of course, no matter how old my car is going to get, I can always sell it for scrap metal at least. So it will never be zero. But in some instances, it can be. In one instance, um, is actually tax. That you can claim, because your assets are losing value, much of your assets are losing value over time, you can claim that as a type of expense. Because you're losing value in your business, so you are losing money. So it's a type of expense. But for tax purposes in South Africa, a vehicle, for example, must depreciate to zero over 
five years. In other words, um, if a car is worth 50,000 rand when it's bought, after five years it must be worth zero um, for tax purposes. You must claim, so you can claim every year for five years a reduction on your income on your um, income yes I suppose uh, or on your profits so every year you can claim 10,000 as the value with which your vehicle is depreciating so obviously you are going to make some money when you sell it it's not going to be zero after five years but for tax purposes you must claim it back in exactly five years, which means it's 20%. Your depreciation rate for tax purposes is 20%. But let's let's just do one simple example to illustrate the basics. What is the value of a digital printer after seven years if it was purchased at 90,000 Rand and depreciates at 5% on the straight line method. Okay, so we start as we always do with our formula and then list what we do have in our formula. So that's our formula. We can see our n is still um, uh, is not an exponent and it's linear. It doesn't have an exponent itself. My future value, I'm not sure what that is. That's what we want to calculate. My present value is 90,000 Rand. Actually, not my present, I must speak for it. It is my principal value, the original value of the um, object and my depreciation rate. In this case, I still use an I, just so we don't have a million different um, variables that we need to remember. But this is the rate at which it depreciates. It's 0 0.05, 5 percent per percent means divided by 100. That means move the comma to the left two spaces. And finally, the number of years here represents how many times it will be depreciated, and that is seven times. Okay, and let's see if I put all of this information into my formula. One minus. 0 0.05 times 7 gives me an answer of use your calculator to calculate it you get 58,500 just pause the video and make sure that is exactly the answer you get as well if you punch it into your calculator that's the answer you get just so we can uh, be sure you know how to use your calculator Okay, good luck, try a few on your own now.